Right now, a growing number of people are making the perfectly reasonable decision to cancel their TV licenses, and honestly, who can blame them? We're in the middle of a cost-of-living crisis, for God's sake. And yet, like a tone-deaf trumpet player in an orchestra hitting all the wrong notes, the price of the TV license just keeps going up. It's almost as if they're daring us to cut the cord. But here's the thing. The BBC aren't exactly making themselves easy to love right now, are they? Between the scandals, the questionable use of funds and the frankly baffling salaries, it feels like they're actively trying to push viewers away. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into why cancelling your TV license might be the best decision you make all year. Because you deserve to enjoy your favourite shows without funding a system that seems determined to take the piss. Now, before you accuse me of being anti-BBC, let's be clear, I love good television and the BBC has given us some absolute gems over the years. Planet Earth, Fleabag, Sherlock, that one with the hot priest. You get the picture. But even I have to admit, things have gotten a bit messy. Take the recent Hugh Edwards scandal, for example. This wasn't just some minor indiscretion, this was serious misconduct. And what's worse, it seems like the BBC knew about the allegations, but chose to look the other way, even continuing to pay Edwards his exorbitant salary while he was under investigation. It's about a culture of secrecy and a blatant disregard for the public trust. It's like finding out that your favourite bakery has been using rat droppings in their croissants. And speaking of questionable salaries, let's talk about Gary Lineker for a moment, shall we? Now, I'm sure he's a lovely man and he does a decent job presenting Match of the Day, but uh, £1.3 million a year. For that kind of money, I'd expect him to personally deliver me my TV licence fee refund every year with a handwritten apology note from Hugh Edwards himself. And honestly, even that might not be enough. Look, I'm all for free speech, but when you're the BBC's highest paid presenter, maybe, just maybe, think twice before you start tweeting about political conspiracies or comparing government policies to Nazi Germany. It's not a good look, Gary. It just doesn't sit right, does it? Chapter 3. The BBC's Billion Dollar Shell Game. Now, you might be thinking, OK, Lee, but the BBC does make some great shows, and besides, they need that TV licence money to survive, right? Well, that's where things get really interesting, because the BBC isn't just a public service broadcaster, it's also a massive, sprawling corporation with its fingers in a lot of pies. We're talking about subsidiaries like BBC Studios, BBC Productions, UK TV, BritBox, the list goes on and on. These companies produce and distribute content globally, generating billions of pounds in revenue each year, so they're essentially using our TV license money to fund these commercial ventures, then selling us the content they produce at a profit. Chapter 4. The Government's Role, A Comedy of Errors. Of course, we can't discuss the BBC without mentioning the government, can we? Those lovable scamps in Westminster have the power to change the BBC's funding model, and with the current charter set to expire soon, the pressure is on. There's talk of a new media tax, which, uh, let's be honest, sounds about as appealing as a root canal without anaesthesia. But hey, at least it would be a step away from the archaic TV license system, right? Chapter 5. Cancelling Your License it's easier than you think, so after all that, you've decided to take the plunge and cancel your TV license. Good for you. It's easier than you think. You just need to head to the TV licensing website and follow the instructions. Now be warned, they might try to make you feel like you're committing a crime against humanity. But don't panic. As long as you're not watching live TV or using BBC iPlayer, you're in the clear. Think of it this way. You're not cancelling your TV license. You're simply opting out of a system that no longer serves you. Outro take back control of your TV. Look, at the end of the day, the decision of whether or not to pay the TV license is a personal one. But I urge you to think critically about where your money is going and whether the BBC is truly providing value for your hard-earned cash. Cancelling your TV license isn't about being anti-BBC, it's about being pro-choice. There's a whole universe of entertainment out there just waiting to be discovered, all without the BBC's questionable practices and Gary Lanker's exorbitant salary weighing you down.